a very serious security detail and wanted meetings prior to showtime to discuss it. So while they listed that in the contract, we had to have a security meeting with them. Just like if I move with the president, the, sec the president's security detail, I go visit the site where I'm supposed to make a speech, whatever, and look at the weak areas and point them out and see what they can cover to make the place safe. Sound check there. Babyface's security said, these passageways are a bit small. And when we move, we move very fast. What we don't want is to be moving and pushing people down and injuring anybody or injuring our artists or any of your artists. Because it can, will be liable for a lawsuit or the other way around. Now, remember, these, these are people, them not come from Jamaica. So them not come and see them bridging and them not come see them friend. Them come see a passageway that they need to get to this tent and from this tent to backstage right here. So this is how you enter the backstage. So if they have to move from the drop-off point and get to this tent quickly, they are looking at the safest route where there won't be a problem to anybody or, or, or anybody be a problem to them. So they ask, can this passageway be cleared? When we are moving, that was the request from Babyface team. Not that can you empty backstage. They ask, can these walkways be cleared? That's a simple ask for the betterment of everybody on the festival. I'm sure everybody agree that. No, Saturday night is very easy to, to run with your guest It's not like Friday night. Friday night you have John Tom, Ari Rewe, every all over your son, and it's a dance hall crowd. I have whole heap of man and whole heap of people. Hard for control. Tedious work. But with the Saturday night, you have a very disciplined set of people. Berries come and imagine people in around them tent and them a drink and them a reason and the vibes, the atmosphere backstage is sweet, great. So there's not a lot of people in these areas. So it's easy to say, please. Everyone who comes with an artist, please find their respective tents, right? Because there is a security detail that is coming through shortly, and we need to keep these walkways clear. That was the request. When, when Babyface came, we timed the, the transportation that was bringing him to drop off. And when he was like five minutes away or 10 minutes away, we made the request and a security team did a full sweep and the people them who come with the artists, them went in them, they go back in them tent and some of them went over here to watch the show. No, it was clear. Beres didn't come off a stage yet. By this time, Beres was on stage. So Beres now, Babyface team all in his tent, in their respective tent. They were in their tent because they have to keep, keep the way clear for Beres as well. So we never keep people out of so for when Beres come off stage. We keep it clear because they say, yo, Ronnie look nice when it's clear and empty and the artists they move more freely. Let's keep it that way and don't let nobody come back around here. Because who around here is the people who are supposed to go up on stage at a respective time. So we never open back this gate and let in back people for come lighter. We make it stay close, people close. People was okay staying over there. Because them still I get for the show. Them still I get for drink. And them know so for them artists and they're on the stage yet. So there's no need for us just about going going around here. So Beres came off stage, went to his tent. Beres in the chilling. And because in tent same time I'm go media. I'm go media. So this is Beres' route. Beres went here. Probably I'm going to tent and go meet. You can go meet a farmer, sir? No. Okay. So Beres, this is Beres' route. He went here, went into this area, and went into this big media tent here. So this is where all media was conducting interviews. This is where Beres was. Baby face them was in them tent at that time. There was a, like a 30 to 40 minute band change. 30 to 40 minute band change. This area remained clear. When Babyface was up on stage, they were whisked by 
our some first personnel and his security detail, they move very fast. So said, so done. They move very fast. Them don't stop and say hello he, to he, she, and our the whole lady. Straight to backstage. To stage side right or so. To go up on the stage. See? That gate that them got through. To go up on the stage. Baby face up there at work. Everything backstage still remain clear. By that time, Beres came. He did his, he did his media in the interviews. Them can't have Beres in there over an hour, you know. Because Beres is a man. I forgot go back. Chill and him just work for nearly an hour. You know what I mean? are still empty. These passages we are still empty. The same passage where, where the security detail of Babyface asked to be clear based on movement. We kept it clear. And Beres came back to his tent right here at tent number two. And he was there chilling and reasoning with them people. Because like Beres reasoned with them people. Them, them live like a family. He was very comfortable and cool. Babyface was working, doing him sure. It was fine. By the time Babyface would come off a stage, it was five, because they, they say, at this song, at, what was one Whitney Houston song or what? One Whitney Houston song with them, so we identify with, say, when you, when you hear this Whitney Houston song, we're coming off a stage in four to five minutes. So we hear the Whitney Houston song. We sent to Beres' tent to ask him, are you going to come out now? Because if you're going to come out now, we want to be able to hold Babyface's team right here. So don't make them come through this gate and allow you, Mr. Barris Haman, chairman of the board, to leave and exit this area because both teams are huge. So very set him cool. He might go and chill. So we hear the Whitney Houston song, Babyface doing thing song, Babyface doing thing. He never wrap up in exactly five minutes. It did take a little longer. Probably 10 minutes or so. And in that time, it's like Beres changed his mind and said, I'm ready, right? Mm -hmm. So Beres ended up leaving before Babyface. Babyface was not going to come and go back to his tent. He was going to head straight to his vehicle and leave because his bus was the last one to arrive. So his bus, his vehicle was right here. But because Beres said, uh, Oh, because Beres said him never ready. We allowed Babyface's vehicle to stay there. When Beres was ready, before Babyface, Beres am on leave and even went into Babyface's van by mistake because he thought that was his. And he had to come out and walk. He walked. He never have no problem. He'd come out and walk to his van because he changed his mind and said, I'm ready now. Beres left. By the time Beres had leave out, here was baby face them coming. They almost collided. Almost collided. But they didn't. It was fine. Both of them leave out one behind each other. That was done. No. 10 or 15 minutes prior to that now. This is the reason why I put Nigel Boy sticker right here. Remember you now? Nigel Boy's tent is the closest to the stage. It is the closest to the common area in the back, backstage, and it is the closest to the media tent. I'm gonna, anybody we can do much more and break this down for me. How long Nigel Boy perform for? Um, Nigel Boy performed for 25 minutes. He got off the stage. There was a, how long was the band change for Barry's? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Nigel Boy went to this media tent. 30 minutes of band change for Beres was going on during that time. Beres took the stage after that 30 minutes and performed for how long? Performed for 45 minutes. How much that? 75 minutes, right? When Beres exit and go, went to the media tent, Nigel Boy was still around there in the media tent, right? How long was Babyface's band change? 40 minutes. 110 minutes that. Since Nigel Boy came off the stage and is in the media tent, 110 minutes. How long Burst performed for? How long Babyface performed? Sorry. Okay, so that is 170 minutes plus 13, 183 minutes. Do the match. That's all like two, that's all like nearly six, nearly three hours. That's nearly three hours that Nigel Boy and his team. It's not, I'm not lying. No, I'm lying. Because for the last 10 minutes of the Babyface set, that's when Nigel Boy came out of the press tent. 
So he was basically in this press tent for two hours, say so two and a half hours, to play it safe. Nigel Boy and his team, when they came off the stage, they went into this tent and was between here and this tent doing interviews for nearly two and a half hours. Nothing is wrong with that because a good management wants his artist to do as much interview, after, especially after a stellar performance, because Nigel, Nigel Boy shelled the show. The presentation was awesome. Big up Dr. Love or whoever put that together. And they did an awesome job. So, of course, they want him to get as much interview in as possible. They were back there for nearly two and a half hours. These tents are not supposed to be left open waiting for an artist for more than how long? More than, a, more than half hour. But they have up to an hour or an hour and 20 minutes. Because when another artist comes, the tent will be assigned to them. It's a Saturday night, so the tent was still free. It's not a dance hall night. We have a whole heap of dance hall artists, so we have to in and out quickly and switch up the tent. Then. The tent was still free for Nigel Boy. We never give away him tent. However, the fact that they were in this media tent for two and a half hours, they took it upon themselves to stay in that media tent for that duration to soak up the interviews, which is nothing is wrong with that. But when you make a decision like that, and you come to this gate now and ready to go into your tent and our security get details and information to say, hold this place for the next 10 minutes because we need to get Barry Salmon team out and we need to get, ba no, we need to get Babyface team out because they're ready, but Barry's team was ready at the same time. So don't open this ear and let in nobody because this is not Nigel boy and Dr. Love alone coming through. It's a whole team. Remember, you know, him have one big robot with tall and 10 feet tall, and him have dancers. It's a whole team. Don't open this gate yet. So we had to keep the gate closed for 10 minutes. I saw Dr. Love around the gate cursing, shouting on top of his voice after he did two and a half hours in the media tent, soaking up all interviews, which he had all the right to do. But if you have to wait 10 minutes right here, sir, based on protocol for make this thing move with ease. After your artist get reggae some first platform to come damage the place, right? I don't see why you're supposed to take the social media and cuss out some first team. So we are the worst. You did a stellar show and nobody ever stop your artist from delivering, delivering his show. That's your, supposed to be your main concern. Nigel Murray may, may be the biggest artist in the next couple of weeks or the next couple of months. However, Reggae Sunfest is still a huge platform that caters to his people. Do not turn good people into enemies because of your ego, Bridget. As a manager, you're supposed to be the one to calm the artist down and not to furiate the artist to make enemies. A good manager, look at what he's getting and weigh it with the, with the cons and say, no, man. I get for showcase my artist into a stellar performance. I get for soak up the media tent for nearly two and a half hours. We by ourselves, we did every interview with them probably about 40 media personalities in here, so you know, from different, from RE, TV, TVJ, Entertainment Report, on stage, all of them in this. So you did the right thing by soaking it up, you see me? But when you come back here, so and you're supposed to wait 10 minutes, don't complain and make it look like some first are the worst. All of this thing take months of planning, months to execute. Don't make the thing look like it's a little dance to keep around the road just because you have a social media to make your voice heard. <clears throat> and these, these are the things that happen. People don't know the details of what takes place behind these areas. Jamaicans don't understand we get away a lot when we have these areas crowded with people. And we still provide this area for them to crowd up and watch the show. They choose to crowd up this area same way. And anytime we try to put our foot down and say, please stay in your respective tent. Keep these walkways clean. Crowd up over here so you can go watch a show. We're not putting no rules on over here. So. It is still a problem. If the fire team, if the fire team come and see people in this passageway, they can shut down where they some first. Yeah. So while we are trying to discipline or make people, the few people around here adhere to the show, they are jeopardizing 20,000 people out front 
we pay them money to come and enjoy a festival. Enough of them not pay come in because they are rolling with the artists and them get a free band. But they are the quickest run to social media and chastise the show. When you have 20,000 people out front, I jump and I enjoy themselves and I drink and I love the culture and I be respectful to the culture and I adhere to the rules. You have one artist or something that go on to him like him, go up on social media and try to bring down the show. When you have 50 artists who work the same night on this big stage and spread the ministry of reggae and dance all to the world, do them interviews and get paid and it's all good. But when you have one person with all six, seven hundred thousand followers, you know, because we know negativity go. Let like me I preach to our artists. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. As I'm saying, when you have when you have one person with five, six hundred thousand followers, have a bad have an issue, they don't choose to come and talk it over with the regular Sunverse team. You know what them do? Then turn on them phone and then go to social media and then spew hate and spew negativity. When you have 20 odd thousand paid patrons enjoying the show that we provide. It don't make no sense. So we don't want to get up every day and address negativity. We don't want to get up every day and choose somebody come online and say something. We are addressing it. The only reason why we are addressing this now is because that person chose to mention the chairman of the board who is Barry Saman. You know, in him spew of negativity. So I took it upon myself to address it because Barry's name never yet mixed up in a nothing negative in our music. But a man get hearsay and turn on him phone and decide to take hearsay as law. And I try to bring down a festival that is doing something so positively for, positively for Jamaica, the culture, the tourist industry provide jobs for people in, other, in, in and around St. James. Provide jobs, because nobody now works some for so free. A few young artists may do it, but artists now work some for so free, and them charge big money, and them get paid. We are doing a huge service to this industry, but you have a few people who just try them very best to try to drag it down. We don't worry about that, because some is too big for them to dry it down, as I said. You know, can't dry down some face because when you do something from the realness, and you do it the right way, it only has to get bigger and better. I wish the time would have come when I highlight the positive side of the music. I like where, where TJ and, 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 and Enhance go on with talk about them something, you know. The same bridge, you know, talk. I don't no see my elaborate on them thing there. But you're quick for go jump up and talk about the chairman and the board get disrespected by some of us. Really, come on, people, man. Let's do better than that, man. I don't love social media again. And if you realize I'm not on social media, I preach and I do nothing. Because I don't want to be seen as that person where I use it as a tool to create distractions and look like me a cloud chase. I want to do some work and make it speak for itself. And I, that, I and I try to. So I just want to appreciate, appreciate love where I do. And big up the people that will turn out to Reggae Sound 2024. Big up Valiant. Big up Jada Kingdom. Big up. Uh, uh, who is missing again? Yeah. Big up Craft. Craft, they have laryngitis. If you never know, that's why I'm couldn't perform. You understand me? Aunt Tenny B had an issue why he couldn't perform. Man City had an issue why she couldn't perform. You understand me? A lot of artists came and they did perform and they did a stellar job. Listen, the rain fall every day for the week or some fest. We had rain, heavy rain, but we still pull it off. We never hear the equipment them chip out one time. We never hear one feedback. You know what kind of intricate, talented people, a team of people have to steer that ship straight through for an entire week for me to make it what it was? The sound, the look, the presentation, nothing to go wrong after rains, after everything, after a late start. Nothing to go wrong. That's where I celebrate because Jamaica is on the map in terms of presentation of festivals. One time when you look on some stage for Jamaica, you see two little people like this, and you see one stage with two monitors. That, I don't, we're not dead so no more, man. We're in the big league now. Don't sound try to think to the big league and big up everybody who is the partners and the sponsors of this festival to make it go through with ease. Big up Joe Bogdanovich, big up Robert Livingston, big up Bob, Leon, Carla, the whole team, Martin, Lewis. You understand me? Me and event. Big up everybody who contribute to this stellar show. 
I am honored to be a part of it. I will not watch negativity when I'm a talk. You understand me? As I said, big up Jada and Valiant because you know next year everything I got fixed. Then we're gonna find the show again. Because we now ride the negativity wagon around here. Big up behind themselves. Turn off my life.